Now here is how to solder on a spin-proof pinion, especially with these high-powered motors. You should use on these quad 20s about a 14-15 tooth pinion. What we're going to put on one side to protect the bearing is what's called a phenolic washer. Acts as a shield. So the whether you're cutting something or um, soldering the shaft, the acid flux doesn't get down inside the ball bearing. Now what we did first, we marked where we need to cut the shaft, especially on the drag motor. It's a little tighter than normal. So we'll start by cutting the shaft of the armature with a Dremel disc. Dremel. We sell the Mandarin tools and the disc. Round off the edge. I want no sharp burrs as you're trying to put on that pinion, especially after you put solder over it. Now the first thing we're going to do is tin the shaft. Now you'll notice this acid flux, you do not want to get inside the bearings, that's why that nice little phenolic washer is in place. You don't, don't put the acid flux all the way down to the phenolic washer, you just want the area where the pinion is going to be soldered onto. Grab a little solder. Start tinning the shaft. Now where it's not tinning, just grab some more acid flux. See that shaft's pretty hot. And you want to tin it all the way around, basically, the length of the pinion. And you can see that's tinned all the way around the shaft. We'll add just a drop more acid flux. And I'll let that one sit. And then what I'll do is just make sure that fits inside there. We're going to put a little acid flux down in there. Now there's one side that will go on, goes easily, then it stops. The other side will not go on on the sonic pinion. So we want to put the acid flux down inside there very carefully because if you get it on the teeth outside or if it flows on the outside, wherever you put this, that's where the solder is going to go. So the only place you want that solder to go and just barely get a little bit and then put it right down in there and that's the only spot you want the solder to go. There we go. There's a little bigger pinion, so they're a little easier to work with compared to like an e tooth. Now what I'll do is, you see the smoke coming off there? Clean off your tip, make sure it's spotless clean, or as clean as you can make it. Nothing hanging off of it. And what we're going to do is slide that pinion right on there. you got to wait for it to heat up. Now you see it moving on, hit the back part back here, and it will slide right on there. That's why you make sure the pinion goes on the other side of the shaft. And then just reheat it up, and that's all there is to that. Now you're ready to solder that motor right into your car. Some of the other tools, if you don't have one already, we recommend the Weller solder and iron stained glass window 50 watt solder and iron now to control that we sell a solder and iron temperature control that you could dial down to do your lead wire shunt wires turn it back up nice little dial right here to solder in like the motors into the chassis and what have you 
recommend using the uh, Lucky Bobs because it comes in a nice brush applicator bottle. So you just put that acid flux exactly where you want it. For your shunt wires and what have you, just use the 6040 rosin core solder. This one made by Slick7. We sell all these tools on our site.